Hey guys, what's up? This is Doctorian, and today it's time for another artifact talent video. And today, um, the monk is up. It's time to take a look at the monk. Uh, first of all, I'm really sorry that I didn't upload this sooner. Um, I was supposed to upload this video yesterday. I did the 150 uh, subscriber video yesterday because yesterday I hit a 100. And 50 subscribers thank you guys very much i'm really happy with that i know it's it, i know we're a really small channel and we have a really small community but it means the world to me 150 subscriber that's from for me personally it's, it's a it's a big number and i made a special thank you video for you guys it's on my channel so um you can check it out if you want to um so i made that video yesterday and immediately after that video i made the um, uh, monk artifact video but somehow, um, the video of the 150 subscriber, the audio was fine on the 150 subscriber video, so I made that video, uploaded it. I was like, okay, well, that is uploaded, I'm gonna work on the monk artifact video, gonna edit that. And the audio was uh, totally screwed up, it, it was a complete mess and nothing changed. I, I recorded one after another, I don't know why, uh, why that happened. And then I didn't have time to uh, record it again, so now... It's Friday, it's one day behind schedule, uh, but today I'm making the Monk Artifact video, so I'm sorry it's one day late. So, um, the tank is not up yet. I mean, um, first thing is first, um, the Artifact Talents are a early look, and um, like you can see, it's still in uh, developing, and the Brewmaster tank is not out yet. Now, the moment the Artifact uh, Talents are out for the brew master tank i will upload that same with the uh, demon hunter i don't believe no vengeance is still not up yet as well so the moment those um specs which don't have artifact talents yet the moment those artifact talents are released i will make a video um about them so they will be uh, upcoming as fast as they are getting added into the artifact talent calculator so here we are at the uh, miss weaver healer um, that one has his artifact talents and the windwalk DPS as well, so we're gonna cover those two. And um, one thing else I want like to add, or a couple things, is that first of all, I need to reset this. And uh, first thing is that um, this is a very early look, okay? Um, all the numbers in here, everything those uh, talents and abilities give you, and the number it shows, it's all still in development, okay? It could change any moment. They could nerf the numbers, they could buff the numbers. Don't read anything into the numbers. Secondly, the way I make this video is I'm going to start with the main, uh, the um, mandatory talent. This is always the talent with the big uh, golden border. You have to pick that talent before you can actually progress your weapon. And then I'll just try to, uh, I'm going over all three elite talents. I'm going to pick a number one, a number two, and a number three elite talent. That's going to be my order. I want to unlock those elite talents. And then I will set out a route to as quickly as possible to get to that elite talent um but this is not how to spec or a guide um because everything is subject to change and i leave it up to the professionals and the mathematicians to actually m to make a guide um maybe i will do some myself when the information is out but we're just in beta legion is really far away and um i'm just I'm, the way I'm picking an elite talent is to look which which one does look the most fun. Doesn't say it's the best one. I'm just checking out. Oh, this elite talent looks really cool. There's a really cool visual. It really appeals to me. Okay, and then I'm gonna select the quickest route to that elite talent. Then I'm going to my number two elite talent, and I'm gonna pick the quickest route to that one. And then finally, I will go to the third one. So this is not a guide. It's not how to spec. This is just a fun, in my opinion, just taking a fun look at the talent. Okay, that's it. Um, and then on the last note, I already did the Death Knight, Demon Hunter, Druid, Hunter and Mage uh, video, um, artifact videos, they're on my channel, but the artifact talent calculator got updated. For an example, I was really happy with the Unholy Death Knight because it had a talent to uh, summon a super zombie, it still has it, but it also had a talent that um, your attacks had a chance to summon an additional army of the dead. They removed that talent, so... The previous videos I did, uh, I, I made those videos, there could be changes, I mean, there, uh, the artifact talent calculator changed, they removed some talents or they adapted some talents, so they they're not one, they could not be 100% uh, up to date anymore, I believe the mage is unchanged, 
um, but um, so keep that in mind when you watch those videos that um, they could have been changed slightly if you want to see the changes um, you can go to MMO champion uh, check out the artifact on cal calculator for yourself so enough talking let's start off let's hit it and uh, let's start off with the mist weaver um, a little bit of information for you guys I I leveled a monk once, it was during Mist of Pandaria, it was one of my ults, I leveled to 83, standing in Mount Gel, and I never touched it again. So, uh, my point is, I don't have any clue about a monk, okay? I never played Mist Weaver, I leveled a little bit of tank and a little bit of DPS, but I never had it on max level, I never played it proper, so I have no clue about monks, I'm gonna be r really honest with you guys about that. Let's start off. Uh, Shailun's Gift, that's going to be our uh, mandatory talent. Draw from the mist within Shailun and heal a friendly target for, uh, at this moment, 1 plus, uh, one plus 700 spell, po uh, spell power health. Okay, so this is going to be a mandatory talent. This would be really cool that when you select a target, let's say you select your tank, and when you use Shailun's Gift, it's a 2 seconds cost, that you summon clouds of, of fog gathering above your uh, talent, and when uh, so those cloud, clouds are um, gathering above your talent, and when your cast is finished, all the clouds will swoop down and heal your target. That would be really, really cool. So we have a chance of a really cool animation. I hope they do something special with this. Now I want to select a elite talent to uh, go to uh, to make a route, and uh, I need to pick a number one elite talent. So let's go over all three, and let's say we want to pick uh, which one we like the most. We have, over at the right, we have Shao Hao's Mist of Wisdom. Casting Renewing Mist or Enveloping Mist has a chance to cause your staff to create the Mist of Wisdom that will heal a nearby ally with the powers of the mist every 2 seconds for 10 seconds. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we have, um, you have a chance to, when you cause Renewing Mist or Enveloping Mist, you have a chance to cause uh, your staff to create Mist of Wisdom that will heal um nearby ally with the power of the mess so it gives a hot it's a an extra hot for 10 seconds healing every two seconds so it takes five times i hope there's going to be uh, something really cool like when you use shao hao's mist of wisdom um that mist will uh, start to swirl around your staff you know circling around your staff and then um then it will proc basically this kind of a proc and then it will start um putting out a so it will swirl around your staff and then it will, at the end of the staff, it will flow out and um, heal your target. Something like that. That would be um, really, really cool. Or it will swirl around your staff and then it will shoot to the nearby ally once they heal. Something like that. Would be really, really cool. Let's go over to the left one. Blessings of Yulon. When you use Revival, the spirit of Yulon appears and grants all allies healed by Revival an additional 30% of the amount Revival healed for over 6 seconds. Okay, so um, Revival, I don't know if Revival is a hot or, uh, or a cost or an instant thing, but it will do 30% of the healing of Revival over 6 seconds. So it's hotting those players affecting by uh, Revival. Now, if I'm right, the Spirit of Yulon, that's the green drake we saw in Mist of Pandaria. It was the, the green drake we you could do as a boss in the, on the Timeless Isle. It's also, I believe, the green drake for the um, legendary healing cloak, if I'm saying that correctly. And if you finished uh, the questline of the Jade Forest, the lore uh, quest, then you will actually um, meet her as well. I believe it's her. You guys can correct me in the comments if, uh, if I'm wrong. But that's that could be a really cool animation that the spirit of Yulon appears. Will she be, will she be coming uh, flying through the sky through the instance and then coming to you or flying through the sky outdoors, or will there be a, some kind of a portal or will she just, um, will you see all kind of elements and things gathering together and then they will uh, come together and then she appears something like that. This could be a really cool animation. I hope um, they make it kind of big as well that you have this big green drake in in the raid in a dungeon to help you out and you know you just know that your healer used uh revival and you know the extra healing is uh from revival sticking that would be really really cool so um visual visual wise this really appeals to me so let's uh, go to the first and um, final um epic talent uh, elite talent sorry when you activate thunder focus t you exhale the breath of yulon healing all allies within 12 yards for uh, 5 plus 1000 spell power over 5 seconds. 
I hope this is going to be a really cool, like a, um, this could be a really cool green kind of fire breath. And they, they needed to make, um, uh, make it a big breath, um, and, and that, um, that it actually will be 12 yards. So you can actually, um, it's easy for you to target, uh, the celestial breath because you can exactly see where it heals. And there's a big flaming breath, which heals everybody. Could be really cool and it stacks up really nice let's say a blessing of uh yulon is um um you use you just use revival and then you use a uh, celestial breath that would visual uh visual wise that would that could uh both of them to combine those would be really cool that could look like hey yulon is here and then you have this big green uh, uh fire breath healing you that would be cool as fuck if you com could combine those two spells i have no clue for me personally, I like Blessings of Yul uh, Yulon the most. Just visual um, for the visualization, I like uh, that talent the most. So let's go over there. So we need to go left from our mandatory talent. Shroud of Mist reduces damage taken by 6%. Survivability talent, that's fine. Um, in total, 13% when it's stacked out three times. And then we're going to uh, the next talent, Extended Healing. Increases the duration of Renewing Mist by 4 seconds. So Renewing Mist is uh, extra long. Let's stack it up three times it's eight seconds so i assume that's a good thing when renewing mist lasts longer it does more healing so that's a good thing and then we have here infusion infusion of life increases the healing of vivify by six percent stacks up three times in total of 30 percent um, increases the healing so that's always good a straight up healing buff and then we unlock blessings of yulon so we have our green drake so now I want to go over to Celestial Breath because it sounds really, uh, it could be a really cool visual and it sounds really strong as well. So let's move over there. So let's pick a light on your feet. After fully channeling Font of Essence, you move 40% faster for 3 seconds, stacks up 3 times. And in total, you're going to move 60% faster for 3 seconds. So it's a run speed increase. That's okay. Um, movement speed increases are always good. People are kind of. Um, they're not paying attention enough that this is movement speed increase can really help you out. So it's always nice to move faster, dealing with tactics faster, getting out of shit faster. Movement speed, don't underestimate it, okay? It could be a really good thing. Um, mist of Life. Life Cocoon now applies Renewing Mist and Enveloping Mist to the target. Uh, I don't have a clue what Life Cocoon is. But now when you do it, you also cost two heals on that target. So... That's, that could be really strong, to be honest. I have no clue. The mathematicians have to do the work, but it sounds kind of uh, kind of okay to me. Um, depends on how much um, a misweaver monk is using life cocoon and what it exactly does. But it sounds sounds like a good buff. And now we have the celestial breath unlocked. When you activate Thunder Focus T, you exhale breath of Yulon. Okay, very nice, very cool. I'm gonna pick that. Now I want to move over to Shao Hao's Mist of Wisdom. So, I'm gonna skip over these talents, not that I don't want them, just to, um, I just want to pick the fastest route to Shao Hao's Mist of Wisdom. So we're going over here, Spirit Teether, enemies within 8 yards of your Transcendent Spirit have their movement speed reduced by 40%. Okay, so, it's kinda just to deal with ads, or maybe you can, uh, it has a 100 yard range, so when uh, tanks have to pick up a lot of ads, you can help them out with um, costing, um, Transcendent Spirit, so um, ads have their movement speed increased. It might help you, uh, your tanks, uh, with picking up some ads or kind of stuff. It's an okay talent. It's it's not, it's not like a movement speed or a heat increase, but um, I guess it's it's kind of okay. It's kind. Of. Wave the Mist Weaver increases the healing from enveloping mist by six percent. So this is a straight healing increase. So let's pick that. That's a total of thirteen percent. Okay, very nice. So we're an enveloping mist does more healing now. Cool. And then we have Protection of Xiao Hao. Increases the absorption amount of Life Cocoon by 10%. Stacks up 3 times, so it's going to be 20% in total. Um, sounds good. Life Cocoon absorbs more. Nothing wrong with that, I think. I don't, I really don't have a clue about Miss Weaver. I'm sorry. It sounds good to me. Let's put it that way. It sounds good to me. And now we have our final elite talent. Xiao Hao's Mist of Wisdom. Casting Renewing Mist. Or enveloping mist has a chance to cause your staff to create the mist of wisdom that will heal a nearby ally with the powers of the mist every two seconds for ten seconds. So it, um, it has a chance to um, to uh, proc basically it's proc and it gives you uh, an extra hot. So we're gonna pick that, no problems. So now we have some unspent talents. So let's go over them. We have 
I really don't want to pronounce this. You guys can laugh at me. You guys can make comments about it in the comment section because I'm really gonna butcher this. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it call. Coalsing Mist. I'm gonna call it like that. Please forgive me. Coalsing Mist increases the healing of Infuse by 6%. So healing of inf of Infuse. Now I have no clue what Infuse is. So, um, but it's a straight up um, it's a straight up healing buff. So that sounds good. We also have Soothing Remedies. Um, increases the healing of Soothing Mist by 6%. I believe Soothing Mist. If I'm correct, uh, me being a total noob, I believe it's in the game already. So at least I know what that does. Uh, we have then Harmony and Focus. Thunder Focus T now empowers one additional spell. Okay, I have no clue how that, um, how good that is. I really don't know. And, and then we have Dancing Mist. Renewing Mist has a 10% chance to immediately spread itself to another target whenever it's applied. This is a 10%. It only stacks up once. So I'm going to go with Soothing Mist because at least that name rings a bell and I believe it's already in the game. Then I would go for Coalsing Mist, because we're increasing the healing of our Infuse. So this is a 30% healing of Infuse in Greece. And uh, Soothing Remedies is a healing of Soothing Mist, uh, increased by 30%. Then I would go for Harmony and Focus. And the reason why is that Thunder Focus T now empowers one additional spell. So I'm certain that this will empower one additional spell, so I know what it does. And then finally I would go for Dancing Mist, because it's only a 10% chance. I would... Uh, pick certain uh, certain things I picked that over a chance but that just that's just me maybe there are other ways with the monk you can actually increase this um, and it procs way often who knows so yeah this would be um, so this is a look of the talents of the artifacts um, artifacts talents uh, for the Mistweaver monk keep in mind this is uh, not a video there's not a guide about how to spec or what talents to pick this is just a fun way to look at the talents and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. What I do want to say is that I do like the uh, elite talents. Okay, all the elite talents have a um, have a chance, and we have to wait how Blizzard is going, um, how these visuals are going to be. But all three of these elite talents have a have a chance to be really cool visuals and to be really powerful as well. If we compare it to the Fire Mage, those elite talents, the two we had, were just really boring. Uh, DPS upgrades of course that could change but these three talents uh, it sounds like they all three could have a really good visual and could be really fun for the gameplay so yeah GG for the Miss Weaver I like it a lot I, especially the elite talents are really really nice let's move over to the Windwalker DPS so Fist of the Heavens is the uh, artifact talent weapon and I believe that's the Wolverine uh, weapons right the, the, the claw weapons if I'm right correct me if I'm wrong but I believe it's, uh, it's those weapons they're cool, man. They're really cool. You guys are lucky to get in the, getting those Wolverine weapons. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain you guys get the Wolverine, uh, the, the claws, the, the three claws weapons. Really cool. So let's hope they're putting some nice visualizations in there with the elite talents. Let's go for it. Strike of the Skylord. This is our mandatory talent. Strike your target with both fist weapons, dealing 2000 plus 100% spell of uh, weapon damage. Spell damage. Lost. Mistweaver. Uh -uh. Weapon damage. Damage and reducing the target's movement speed by 50% for 6 seconds. Okay, that sounds really powerful. Of course, the numbers have to be done. But strike your target with both fist weapons. Um, do you know, if you have those claws, they should put in kind of a Wolverine animation. And when I watch X-Men, you have that chance. He, I believe I saw Wolverine, and when he attacks somebody, he's jumping forwards. And he is putting his arms back. And when he's reaching his target, then he will... Punch forward with his both fists and then jamming his blades into uh, the target. I hope they're putting something like that into this animation. That would be really cool. Or it's a strike of the Skylord. Maybe Blizzard wants to do something with the Skylord. And when you use this ability, um, you're, um, there will be a, a lightning bolt uh, which is hitting you as a player. And then um, energizing your fist weapons. Or it's just a lightning strike when you hit the boss with... Strike of the Sky Lord and lightning bolt from above hits uh, the boss as well. Something like that. But I hope they put a really cool animation on this. So it's it's both fist, fist weapons at the same time. So I hope they make that punch animation. You're, you're pulling your body back and your arms back. And then you're hitting. You're just punching with your fist weapons. With a really big jam into the chest of the boss. And then big numbers, big crits would be very cool. Something really visual needs to happen here. 
So yeah, we have our uh, mandatory talent. So let's pick a elite talent. Let's go over to the left first, left down below. Gale burst, 10% of all damage dealt to a target with touch of death on them will be added onto the damage of death, uh, onto the damage touch of death deals. So basically when you apply, and once again, I don't have a clue about one walker. I actually believe the touch of death, um, this is, yeah, touch of death. I believe there was a 20% you would use that. Uh, I was confused. I think I'm confused with an ability. It reads like a dot to me. So you put up a touch of death. And then all the damage you deal. Uh, in the meanwhile. 10% of the damage you deal. As long as touch of death is on. Will be added to uh, the damage touch, uh, touch of death deals. So okay. So that would be an increase of touch of death. And um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But I thought touch of death was an ability you would use as the boss was uh, below 20% health. Uh, I'm not sure here. I'm I'm sorry. I, I don't play Monk. And I, I don't, I'm not playing it at all. I have no clue. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, whatever it is. 10% of your damage when you use start, when uh, your target. 10% uh, of the damage deal to a target with, uh, with your touch of death on them. Will be added onto damage of touch of death deals so it will increase the damage of your uh, touch of death while it's on the target okay i'm not sure how they are going to I mean, it's kind of confusing me because I, i'm not sure what kind of ability it is and the way i'm reading it it's dots and when the dots is up 10 percent of all the damage you you deal will be added to that dot or when it's that uh, jab which you use at 20 percent all the damage so the next time you can use that jab you can actually um will have maybe 10% increase more damage but that's just me being confused right now so for the wind walkers dps I'm, I'm sure you guys know what it does so please forgive me please do i hope they're gonna put some uh, cool animation that when you use touch of death and touch of death is uh, a, a dark thing i mean it sounds like a dark and uh you're killing something i hope your uh your hands and your fist weapons get uh, infused with dark power and when you use Gale Burst, that people will notice, oh my god, he's gonna use um, Gale Burst because his arms, his hands, and his fists weapons have a, uh, are in a dark cloud with, and, and dark lightning surrounding your arms and your fist weapons and your hands. And so people will notice when you use Gale Burst. Something li like that would be really cool. Let's move over to Crosswinds because we're talking way too long about Gill burst. So let's move over to crosswinds. While using Fist of Fury, you frequently project an image of yourself to crash into one of the targets you are hitting. That's really cool. Now I've no clue what Fist. Well, I do know kind of what Fist of Fury is. It's that thing he's standing still and and punching a lot with his fist, right? I mean that's kind of what I remember. It's sometimes I'm seeing that during raids or whatever. So now it projects image of yourself. First things first, Blizzard. Sounds really cool. What I want to see is that it needs to be a proper image. Yeah? Until every detail of the transmog. Yeah? The 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 right artifact weapons, it needs to have needs to be a proper uh, proper copy, so not just some random monk. It needs to be a perfect copy of your character, transmog and all. And uh, that will be really cool. And then with a really cool animation so that you see a copy of yourself infused with, I don't know, lightning or fire and then just there rushing forwards with a punching or kicking animation uh, towards your target that would be really really cool i like that a lot it could be yeah sounds good could be some really cool visualizations right here and then we have our final talent tornado kicks rising sun kick now strikes in a second time for 100 percent additional damage uh it sounds kind of just yeah okay it strikes a second time 100 percent additional damage a little bit boring but maybe you, um, they could do it like when um, Tornado Kicks is... Um, well, it's, a, it's a permanent buff to Rising Sun Kick. So when you use Rising Sun Kick, that a when, when you use Rising Sun Kick, that you will spawn a Tornado hitting your target. So I believe Rising Sun Kick is a kick... Well, I, I know it's a kick with the feet. So when you kick your target, a Tornado will appear at the end of the feet uh, hitting the, uh, your target. That would be some way of make, giving this a cool animation. Or maybe your character is, um, when you use uh, Rising Sun Kick, that your uh, character will have a uh, tornado surrounding your character, making the Rising Sun Kick go faster and do more damage, something like that. Give it a uh, cool visualization, please, please. For me, personally, Crosswinds sounds the most cool. So I want to go to Crosswinds, so I'm going to go down here. Death Art. Oh, I'm seeing that I'm not recording the talent of the tooltip. 
hopefully. Not yet. Oh, come on, don't screw with me. There we go. Should be fine now. Killing an enemy with touch of death reduces its cooldown by 50%. Okay, so that works really good with uh, with the uh, elite talent over there. So we're gonna pick this, and it's going to be uh, reduces its cooldown by 100%. So we can use touch of death more often. Okay, that sounds really good. I believe touch of death is really powerful already. So yeah, sounds really good. 100% uh, reduces the cooldown, so it doesn't have a cooldown anymore. Cool. Now we have ap acrobatics. Sorry, roll has one extra charge. Okay, um, it's kind of okay. It's a movement speed increase. Uh, it's a mobility increase, I have to say. And uh, there's also there was already something in the talents of a monk that they could choose between having a run speed after a roll or having an extra roll. But I'm fine with it. Who knows? Maybe things will change. Then we have strength of Xuan. Increases the duration of your tiger eye brew by 2 seconds. Uh, Sacks up 3 times, so it's gonna be 4 seconds in total. Sounds okay. Uh, I have no clue how strong tiger brew is, but okay, it's still a buff. And then we unlock crosswinds. There we go, our first elite talent. Now I have to pick my second one. I'm kinda in the middle about because we just reduced the cooldown of death heart, so I'm going to go for gill burst. So now I can select a route. My route could be power of a thousand cranes, increases the damage of spinning crane kick, transfer the, uh, the power, each blackout kick and rising sun kick increase the damage of your next fist of furious by 5%, and healing wins. When you transcendence uh, transfer, uh, you heal yourself for 15%. Okay, I'm going over diesel. Uh, so those uh, later on, but those are the th uh, is one route. I could also go for a little bit of a longer route. Um, and I think, yeah, I'm gonna pick the longer route. Because we have here, over here we have Dark Skies, increases the um, blackout kick damage by 6%. That's a single target spell, so that sounds really cool. Uh, really cool, that sounds really good. Stacks up 3 times, so that's 13% increased damage. Okay, no problems. But then we run into this. Inner Peace, increases maximum energy by 20, stacks up 3 times. So that's a maximum energy of 40. So we have more energy right here. That sounds uh, sounds really good. Cool. Uh, really good. I don't know how um, if you need it as a monk, but who knows? Let's just go for that. Then we have transfer the power. Each blackout kick and rising sun kick increases the damage of your next fist of fury dust by 5% sex up uh, x amount of times. So each blackout kick or rising sun kick increases the damage of your next fist of fury. And it's going to be stacking X amount of time. So you want to stack this buff up. And then you want to uh, use your uh, Fist of Fury when you have the max amount of stacks. So that could be, could be really powerful. Who knows. We just have to wait and see. Then we have Healing Winds. Um, when you uh, use Transcendence Transfer. You heal yourself for 50% of your maximum health over 6 seconds. That stacks up 3 times. So there's going to be 25% uh, maximum health over 6 seconds. So that's the survivability slash heal, um, heal upgrade. That's okay. We need some of that in raids. And then we unlock Gale Burst. So there we go. And now we want to get to the final elite talent. And that's just one step away. So I'm going over there first. Oh, I forgot to pick this. Loss. Oh no, I took a different route. Oh, I got confused by myself. Oh my god. Nope. Yeah, I know. Sorry. And uh, light on your feet. Increases chance to dodge by 6%. Uh, so that's the survivability cooldown right there. Uh, cooldown. Jesus, dog, what the hell are you doing? I don't know. I'm sorry. Increases. It's not a survivability cooldown. It's a, it sounds like a survivability passive. So that's 30% dodge in total. Uh, so, okay. Survivability um, increase. Nothing special, but it might help you out. And then we have the Tornado Kicks. Rising Sun Kick now strikes a second time for 100% additional damage. Okay, so now we have some unused talents. We have Power of a Thousand Cranes. Increases the damage of your Spinning Crane Kick by 6%. Sex up 3 times, okay. We have Fist of the Wind. Increases the damage of Fist of Fury by 2%. Sex up uh, also 3 times. We have Good Karma. Damage taken while Touch of Karma is active heals you, okay. And we have Rising Winds, increasing uh, Sun Kick damage by 6%. Um, I would go for the 6% Rising Sun Kick, because it seems to be the biggest buff. But I could be wrong. It's going to be in total 
then I would pick damage of fist of fury increase up to 3% then I would increase my spinning crate kick because that's an AoE and as final I would take good karma damage taken uh, well, Touch of Karma Executive heals you. So yeah, this is a look at the Artifact Talents for the Windwalker uh, Monk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Once again, thank you for all the people who uh, watch my videos. Thank you for the people who subscribe to my uh, channel. You guys mean the world to me. Um, it seriously does. You guys always put a smile on my face when I see that people are watching my videos or subscribing. So thank you so much for that. I'm still very... A uh, little bit, little bit. I'm still very happy about 150 subscribers. It means the world to me, seriously. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you, um, I hope to see you on the next video. And this is Doctor In the this guy from Drenta. Wishing you all a very nice day. It's Friday. It's almost weekend, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Have a great one. Bye bye.